hello friends welcome uh, once again I am going to show you one pavilion in C uh, using different technique so let's open the code black uh, code block sorry and we are going to find some of two numbers in previous video also we saw the how to find some of two numbers and in this video I am going to show you a different uh, technique to input uh, numbers uh, for two variables so same algorithm or uh, the I have here first of all you declare two variables if you are taking a, as an integer data type just declare it and after that you have to input the value uh, to find the sum we have to use this formula and it, in this formula we are using third variable sum so it is also mandatory that you declare this sum with this a and b and after that finding sum it is just data or the output in some variable and in class it gets that so same algorithm we are using here we have declared here and we are going to input our data uh, in same uh, scanner we are not going to use that it depends on uh, us actually how we want to use so I'm going to delete this enter the value of a and b so here person d and sorry b uh, this problem we have already talked in previous video but here what I want uh, just I want to show you its output by compiling and running I'm going to run it now we can see uh, it is asking value of a and b uh, so just I am giving 1 2 and 3 so output is 15 so we can see uh, the output uh, uh, input to, uh, we have done here in different lines this is for A and this is for B but can we input this 12 and 3 in same line here now I'm going to show you that for that uh, somewhere actually we can use a space here like this and if we give a space there then while inputting data we have to type a space how just look here build and on it now I'm going to type two numbers by giving separated by a space two three a space here four enter we can see here uh, 23 and 4 it is 27 the power now is 100 percent right so if you are going to input data in same line uh, separated by some space then we have uh, we can use in this way second is a somewhere we can also use uh, comma if we use comma here in this uh, between this person D it is for a and this person D it is for B and I have already discussed about this this is ampersand I have written here and this ampersand it uh, accepts data and it shows uh, in particular address of our memory it is must if we don't put then actually a computer may accept our data but will not store in our memory so if we use comma here then while inputting data we have to separate our data by putting comma how look here so going to run so suppose uh, if I give 3 comma 4 so we can see here uh, it is right it is giving us 7 but uh, what would happen there if we don't give comma so we can see here let's see once again suppose 3 uh, space so can we uh, we can say here uh, I do not put the comma but in this program there is comma 
So what the computer does? Computer accepted chain for A, but the computer did not accept this file for B. Computer accepted zero. So this is uh, a logical error, and this logical error sometimes it creates a problem for us. Similarly, you may have mind that if we enter, then what would happen there? Let's once again recompile it and let's rerun it. Suppose if I'm giving there three, so as I press enter there, then computer once again accepted first value that was for A, but for second value it accepted default value that is zero. In which computer did not accept that B. So this is the logical error sometimes it just comes to happen in our program if we uh, input improperly that. So this is how we can input our data in same line uh, separated by sometimes space and sometimes comma. I think you understood this program. If you have any confusion, just write your comments, write your uh, problems, write your doubts uh, in a comment box. Uh, I'll make another video on this or I may just uh, answer your questions. Just uh, and just give a press that like button, subscribe it and share with your friends if you think it was helpful for you then. Once again, we will see some more videos in next session. Till then, take care, stay blessed, stay happy.